Hi guys, I'm Jessica, the plant killer. I transform plants into indulgent and nutritious recipes. A couple months ago, I moved out of Las Vegas to travel South America, but then got stuck in Texas with my wonderful family. Currently making the best of it and creating in the kitchen. Thanks for following along. Hi guys, welcome to another video. If this is your first time watching, I'm Jessica, the plant killer. I call myself that because I like to turn unhealthy processed recipes into ingredients that are whole food, plant-based, minimally processed. So I like to turn unhealthy food into healthy and still make it taste delicious. So you can find a lot of my recipes on this channel. And also here and there, I throw in some adventures of hiking and being outdoors and just going to cool places. Hopefully, especially coming up soon. I was supposed to move to South America in April and spend some time indefinitely traveling through the continent and I packed up everything for the year before and sold everything I own and was ready to go. But for obvious reasons, I am still here and I am actually in Texas where I have been for months in lockdown and quarantine with my family. See? This is their cute little paradise. I've been staying in their guest bedroom, which is a mess because I'm doing laundry and packing up for Zion. My best friend Cody in Vegas, me and him are super, super tight. Like we did everything together whenever I lived there. We are gonna go to Zion National Park this weekend for the 4th of July. We're carefully going to travel there. And so I'm in the middle of packing up because I'm gonna leave tomorrow. And I will definitely be posting a vlog of that trip or at least one of the days that I'm there while we're hiking and let you guys know what some of the new rules are. I heard that they opened their shuttle buses just a couple days ago and you have to buy tickets to go do that. So I'll be sharing more information in an upcoming vlog. Be sure if you were not subscribed to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell because it'll tell you whenever I post a new video and also be sure to like this video so you can see more. This is what I'm probably gonna bring to Zion I'm only going for a few days. This and that backpack, which is actually the only stuff I was gonna bring with me to South America to last me for a long time. And here's my hiking boots. I gotta kinda gather up everything I'm gonna pack up and bring. This room is always a mess because I have my camera gear over here. It's kind of everywhere. I call myself the plant killer because I make recipes out of plants. But since I've been here in Texas, I have been gardening. It has been quite the adventure. I kill a lot of plants in my garden because I neglect them sometimes and just don't know what I'm doing. My squash have been the best so far, but I mean, I'm hoping this guy doesn't go bad. I can harvest him soon. I've been having issues with uh, mildew on leaves for the last couple of weeks, so I've been trimming off all the mildew. It's just so terribly humid here. It's been difficult uh, to keep the plants organic. This is a new tomato plant, my green beans, some mint that I planted from my aunt's garden. I got some basil, my tomato plant's doing terrible. It's been a lot of fun trying to utilize my parents' space without um, interfering too much because they're very much about aesthetics where I'm more about, I just want food in my backyard my poor tomato plant over here. It has never produced tomatoes. It's, it's had a whole bunch of these come in, but then they die off and you can tell it's struggling. Organic farming, man, is tricky. You can't just like disappear for a week and turn on a water system. Like you really have to pay attention and cater to your plants to see what kind of problems they could be having, like disease and pests. I've been learning a lot. So lately I've had some really good days because I have something new to look forward to and I really want to announce it but I can't say that it's really anything to announce yet because it's not set in stone. This month I was supposed to spend in the Galapagos Islands in Ecuador for my whole birthday month and I'm not going to be able to go to South America for a long time. For those of you who don't know and aren't keeping up with like travel bans and such, South America I'll be lucky if I'm there by the end of the year. They, they've been saying September is the earliest the countries will open 
but I mean with them pushing things back over and over again at, with other countries like in Central America I think really 2021 is more like when I'll be in South America. I was making plans to go to Costa Rica for a while and I kind of canceled those plans because they were going to open June 15th then June 30th and now they pushed it back to the end of July maybe beginning of August so I'm kind of I have a new plan and I'm really excited about it. It's actually a great idea and it just popped into my head yesterday where I'm like, I can still like have the experience I want with like working off the land and volunteering wherever I'm needed and getting a cultural experience and being in a beautiful place. So I can't wait to tell you guys whenever it's actually legit. Hopefully within the next week or two, I'll be able to announce where I'm going. My time here with my family has been so special, but you know, I'm ready to continue living my life. And that just means being on lockdown in a different place than here where I grew up. So keep following along for that news. I can't wait to take you guys with me. I just wanted to kind of give you a life update, which I have for the most part. Um, and I also want to show you how to make a banana cream pie. Cue the music. I can't see you. My brother just dropped off his daughter to hang out with Gigi. This is my little bro, Shane. This is Kyla. And his daughter, Kyla Joy. Say hi, Kai. We got her Say paint. hi to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Say subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> you want to help me bake? I want to put on my swimsuit. Okay, you can put your She wants to go on. swimming. It's in your room. All right. See y'all later. If you guys ever want fitness Senior plans, I'll link this guy. Thanks. Gigi already put it in Have a good day. Where? Are you gonna show YouTube how you can swim? No. Here. This little one was swimming in floaties like a week and a half ago. <laughs> Time to go swimming. Time to go swimming. Time to go swimming. Everybody know I can do it. You wanna swim to my legs? Swim to my legs. <laughs> oh, she turned around. There you go, there you go. Good job! You were kicking so fast and you made a U-turn. Miss Independent. You can do it! <laughs> Woo! Oh, she went and then came back. Oh, look at her, she goes... You went so deep! She's growing up so fast. Even in the couple months I've been here. So cute. <laughs> Better take my camera inside before it gets too wet. <laughs> Hello. Look at that. Look what I made. Ooh, banana pie. I want one. I want one. I want a piece. I put it in the refrigerator and let it get cold first. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> what an amazing day. I am going to pack and get ready for Zion tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that video, hopefully in the next couple of days. And for the rest of the night, I'm gonna clean the messy kitchen that I created and maybe do some exercise to get my heart rate up and spend time with my family eating my way through banana cream pie. Super stoked. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay well, stay healthy, be blessed. Peace. <laughs> I noticed your stomach was looking a little better. I know. <laughs> it's going down. You only look, you only look six months. Pregnant. I don't need my clothes, Gigi. Baby. Okay.
don't look sick like that. Happy, Daddy. Happy, happy, Mama. Dad went to bed and we're eating banana cream pie. Mm -hmm. Missing out.